Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. How you are doing today? Doing good, sir. Good to know. Great. Keeping yourself safe from every aspect. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, please keep safe. You know, not only from the disease, but here in US, you know, don't be at a wrong place at a wrong time. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, it is true for everywhere. You know. So, how is going? Good to see you, Prithvi. Yes, sir. It's good. How are you? Great, good, good, good. Everybody is good. Yes, sir. So, who will tell me what were we doing last time when we took up, you know, took this weekend break and you know wanted to re resume? So, what did we do yeah. last time? What were we doing? Yeah, we are working on CSS Grid. Very good, excellent, right? So, you we were working on CSS Grid, right? So let's see the code and uh, you know have a little bit of review whatever we did so far, and then we'll continue from there on. Got it? Uh, I was uh, looking at this that you were uh, also watching the recordings, right? Which is good. So any issue with that? No issue. Okay, great. Any issue with the lectures? Any suggestions? You have been with me for in, for a week now, which is like more than three weeks for normal semester. So any suggestions for me to improve these lectures? I'm going good, sir. You are enjoying the lectures? Yes, sir. Okay, good, right. This is very important that you must enjoy the lectures and participate in them, you know, give your inputs, whatever there is, right? Sankit, you are good? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Sanjana, you are good? Sanjana, don't, don't want to talk with us, huh? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just kidding, don't worry, okay. Okay, okay, let's, let's start this lecture. Let me share my screen. Who is SAP? Let, let me just ask that, who is SAP? Wait, who is SAP? Put your right name. Who is SAP? SAP? SAP, show your right name, please. Okay, I think that they cannot hear us. Okay, who is SAP? Uh, sir, I'm Danush. Uh, my computer oh. name is SAP. Okay, 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 okay. Danush, great, got it. Actually, you know what happens there sometimes. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. For now. Okay, great. Hmm. So let me share my screen. So this was our code, right? So the deal here is that we have made a division with the name grid, you know, with the class decorating class grid container, right? And then we have made these various deviants, right? So we have got like this item main image will come over here and then list of courses will come over here. And then this is item one, item two, right? Up to item seven, right? So these are all there. And as far as grid is concerned, we have started decorating the container, right? So if we want that container, grid container to be grid, Right, so we said, hey, you container, your display is grid, right? And then obviously we mentioned that, hey, hey, what is your template columns, right? So you have three columns, auto, auto, auto. Auto means that whatever the space is remaining, take that space or we can say one FR, one FR, one FR, one fraction, means that make three equal parts of this entire width and take equal, you know, size to each column, right? So if, for example, we say one FR, one FR, two FR, it means that two columns of size one and one column of size two, means that if you sum them all, take, uh, make three columns, right? And divide the entire space into four parts, give one part to the first column, 
one part to the second column and two parts to the third column. Have you got the idea, guys? And we can do it with repeat also. Got it? Uh, can you repeat it, sir? Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I say, okay, let me do one more thing. Let me say over here, great gap. Let me have a gap. Let me have a gap of 10 pixel, right? Great gap of 10 pixel, right? And let me show you this in my, okay, right over here in my browser. So, reloading it. Okay, what is the reason? Unable to connect? Yes? The yes, VAMP server, VAMP server. VAMP server is not running. Yes, you're right. So where is my VAMP? VAMP? Here is the VAMP, right? So VAMP was not running. So yes. And now it's running. And it is still red, amber, and green. Good. So we come back over here, reload. And this is, you know, the same thing. Okay, let me do one more thing over here. And that is, I have mentioned the grid gap. That is that for each item, I say that your background is white. Right, your item, your background is white. Save it and come back over here. Reload. Now you can see this thing that we have three columns and every column, though it is still like ugly, don't worry about its ugliness. We will, uh, you know, do it, you know, don't worry about it. So one thing we can do, for example, over here, let me get, give this grid container a border. So border, ooh, maybe three pixel, solid, red, or maybe blue. I will remove this later on. So we have made this grid, right? And you can see that it has three equal columns, right? So the deal here is that if instead of one FR, one FR, one FR, if I say one FR, one FR, two FR, right? So now you see that what happens. Reload it. And now you can see that it has made two columns of size one, right? And, you know, one column of size two right? Have you got the idea now? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is exactly what I was trying to say that you can have even columns, you can have uneven columns, right? Any question guys? Okay. So let me convert it to one FR back to F one FR, save it. Right. And let me give some padding to this grid container. So we say padding of five pixels. Save it. All right, so it is a little better. Okay, here we have got padding also and spacing due to grid also is coming. So I will show you, it will be, you know, since there is one extra row, don't worry about it, right? Okay, so now I want to tame them. Say, for example, I want this main image should come and sit in these two columns, right? Hello? This, this was our intention, right? So we come over here and we say, that what, is the, what is the decorating class for the main image, right? So where is the main image? So this is the main image and uh, the decorating class is main image to it, right? So we come over here. By the way, one quick thing. Once we say that grids, you know, containers display type is grid, so it is applied to its immediate children, right? Not children of children, right? Control C and, and uh, save it. Come over here, control dot, control V. So now we want to tell this particular main image VN that how much columns, how many columns should it take, right? So we say here we, we, we were having great template columns, right? That Grid is going to have how many columns, right? Now we'll say grid column. Grid column. So look, 
when we count columns for grid columns so the, this is grid 0 sorry this is grid 1 this is grid 2 this is grid 3 this is grid 4 right let me show you this thing inspect elements and we point to this particular element and you can see that this is grid if you click this grid over here now it will show you the grid uh, you know demarcations so you can see that this is one then this is two this is three and this is then four right and similarly if you want to go backward so you can say that this is minus one uh, sorry this is minus one this is minus two this is minus three and this is minus four so this is how we work so these negatives are written down there right so negative two negative three and negative four so this is how we work with the grid so we come over here we say grid column you start from one and go up to three right so we want this thing to extend from grid one to grid three so we say that hey you start from one and go up to three right hello any questions so far so we save it we save it did we save it let's save it and we reload it now you can see that this particular thing is uh, sitting you know starting from column one and going up to column three have you got the idea and then we want to say that hey your list of courses you start from okay one more thing okay one more thing before i go over there that this property can be given in this shorthand or we could have given this property like this grid column start so start from one and then we say grid column end right and, and at three so basically the deal is that mostly in css there is a shorthand property and there are longhand properties right so basically you know individual properties you can say so these are individual properties right but we can definitely write it like this also so let me put them in comments and let me say the following two are equivalent to the above one okay similarly we want to uh, we want to decorate the list right so we come over here let's see how did we decorate uh, what is the decorating class so for example this is list division right so we come over here your list division control c dot control v right and here we say grade row right we you start from one and go up to three save it right and let's come back here reload the page okay what is what has gone wrong okay so this is the main container and uh, this is let me check let me check what is the issue right so we say grid row you start from one and go up to three right so but we need to fix the column also we say your grid column your grid column is which one is your grid column so we want it to set at three right so your grid col column is three right so three we can say three slash four also is equally good so save it come back over here reload it now you can see that they are sitting at good places can you check this thing now right we have like main image will come set over here list of courses will come over here then item one item two item three item four item five 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we need to have one more item over here. So let's put one more item just to uh, make it beautiful. So we come back over here. Hello, everybody. So we counted one less. So say, for example, we come here and let's make one more division, control C, control V, and we say that this is item eight. And this is glass item eight, save it. Okay, let's come back, save it. Let's come back over here, reload it. Right, so we have got this great beautiful grid, right? We have not started putting any contents, but you can see that things are coming together very quickly. Right? Any questions so far? Hello, everybody. So let's start putting things into it, right? Say, for example, we want this item. Let me let me refer to this page. Say we want something like this, right? That on the left hand side, we want an image, right? And then here we want a heading, right? And down there we need a paragraph, right? So we want something like this to show up. So we can say that this is like a card, right? So we can say that this is like a card. So we want to make it into a card. The deal here is that grid, you know, when we say grid, display grid, it does not percolate into the children of children and children of children, right? Or this is good thing also. So deal here is that once we want to make this thing, this thing into grid, right? So for that, we have to say this thing that, hey, your display is also grid, right? So are you getting uh, Prithvi? Okay, good. So we come over here. We come over here within the item. So item should like, let me plan the item first, right? Let me come over here, open the note, pick up my pen. Okay. So So we want something like this, that this is one card, right? And we want a picture to show up over here. And then we want a heading over here and we want normal text over here, right? So something like this. So, so for that purpose, we say item your display is also great okay so let me first let me do one more thing let me have this padding of 10 pixel 5 is not like looking good so reload right so it is looking good now uh, beautiful and then we want to have this as a grid so we come over here we say hey item your display is great so grid within grid, right? And once this display is grid, so this is not container, right? So once this display is grid, we say that grid template columns, right? How many columns we want it to have? Four. Two columns, one column picture and one column text, right? So I we say that, hey, grid template, you have two columns, one FR and four FR. One FR and four FR. And then grid and we say grid template where is grid template rows right so how many rows 
two rows, right? So one FR and one FR, right? Two rows. And then we come over here, we say dot item and sorry. So let's, let's start putting something here. So, and then we'll decide that how to decorate them. So for example, we come over here, we make a division within it, right? So we decorate an item, image, division, right? So it's item, image, division. And then we need to have a heading, maybe H2, right? Item, heading, right? And then we want to have a paragraph, right? So let's copy, and then here we want to have an image. Source we'll define later on. And uh, let's copy this all. Let's copy it all. And paste them over here. We can actually do it by using JavaScript, but we have not learned JavaScript so far. Save it. So we come over here, we say that, what was the name of the division? Item image division, right? So item image division, your grid template, your your grid column, sorry, grid column is going to be one slash two or you can simply say one, it will take one column or one slash two is also good. And grid row, it is one slash three, right? Because we want it to start from one, two and three, take the entire left column. And then we say dot item H2, that H2 which is sitting in the item, you take grid column of uh, two and grid row of one. And then we say dot item paragraph, you take grid column of two and grid row of two. Okay, guys, save it. Let's save it. And let's see how does our page look like now. Can you see this thing that on the left side, we are going to have an image and on the right side, we are going to have a heading and then, you know, it's paragraph. Are you getting any questions so far? Okay, so if we want to beautify it a little bit more, let's see, you know, what are these spaces coming from? So for example, right click here, inspect element. So for example, let's point to this thing. Look, there is this ugly, you know, top margin. And if we point to this one, and then it has also that ugly top margin, right? Bottom margin, right? So we can do this thing that we can make their margin zero. So we say your margin is zero. 
we say here also your margin is zero. And let's put some padding, right? So maybe we can put some padding. So so we put some padding around the things. So maybe here we have some margin. Let, let's have margin right of five pixels. Right, and, uh, and let's have a border right also. Border, border right, right? So we have one pixel solid gray, right? Save it, reload it. Right now you can see that they are better. Can you check this thing? And you can see that, you know, this is pure CSS and we are not taking much time in making it right. So if once you know grid, you know, it is very easy to make beautiful, you know, beautiful layouts within seconds. Right. So now we have this grid and now we will start putting the things into it. Right, we, we can start putting things into it. Maybe we can put some, uh, you know, image over here and maybe we can put a main image over here. So we come over here and let's have some image. So let's have some images, right? So anybody knows some good, you know, good website to get images? No? What was that splash? I, I just forgot the name. So free web images without a sign up. And the bad thing is that we did not do Google search. Yeah. I love Microsoft. I love Microsoft, but I hate Bing. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> and especially I hate when Microsoft tries to enforce Bing, you know, on me. Ah, I don't want to do it. Okay. Now it is enforced. Okay. Google search. Okay. Okay. Um, anybody knows some good site? Why is not maybe that that site has gone paid now? There's a reason that I am not seeing. Maybe let's, let's try this. Okay. Okay. Signatures. Okay, download. I don't want to download. I'm running out of disk space on my computer. Maybe let's try this way. Uh, open link in a new window. Okay, let's see this. So this is not the image link. This is the web page link, right? So we don't want it. Okay. Copy image location. Let's see this. 
if it is not too huge. Okay, let me use this. Right, so copy and let me put it somewhere. Hmm. Where should I put it? Hmm. So these are images, right? So So this is my item one, right? So control V. Right? And control V. Control V. We could have placed it in a variable and you know do it, but just want to do it like this for you. Control V. Uh, Did we miss someone? So one, two, two, there is one. Okay, one, two, three, four, and this is five. Control V. This is six, control V. This is seven, control V, and this is eight, control V. Save it, and let's see, what do we get? Reload it, right? So what has happened? Something has broken, right? Something has broken, and it was expected, right? Why? Because images, you know, they go wild once you don't tame them, right? So images are taking like entire space. So we come over here, we tame the images, right? So we come over here, we say, hey, hey, you image, where are you, right? So we come over here, we say image deviant dot image deviant. And the image sitting inside that deviant, your width is 100%. Save it and now reload it. Right now they had they have started taking it their space. Right now they are not going wild. Are you getting me? Right. So whenever you place an image, if you don't tame the image, image tries to take its entire pixelated space. Right, entire pixel space. And if you don't want it to give that space, you have to tell him that hey, image, you better tame up. Right. And we can do one more thing over here. And that is that we want to put some, we want to put some gap also. So for example, where did we put the border right? Where is the border right? Right over here, right? And so it was image deviant. So in image deviant, we say some padding. So we come over here, we say you have a padding of five pixel. Save it and reload. Right, now it is better, the line is better, right? And you can see that they are looking good. Any questions so far? Let me put my main image also. So I come over here, let me use the same image as main image. So where is my main image? Ah, right over here, right? So we come over here, we say that, hey, is now image deviant, source is the same. Oh, source is the same. Right, save it. And we come over here in this main image deviant also, tame it. So item image deviant. And this is the grid container item, item image. Where is that main, main image deviant, right? We come over here, we say dot main image deviant, right? And we say that we want to tame the image within it. And we say that your width is 
of the container. Save it and reload it. Okay. So it has refused to sit in the, in the entire container. Why is it so? So this is, this is not, this is taking like a little bit of space, right? Rest of it is empty, right? So the reason being that probably it is like so small image that it is not ready to expand that much. But let me check. Okay, let me check my CSS first that what I have done over here. Main image DVN, M A I N, I M G DVN, right? And then I M G. Let me check. Main I M G DVN, and then I have this I M G, right? Okay. So this is the image. Let me see your CSS. So it is taking with 100%. Okay, so if we remove it, right, you can see that it is going a little different, but still not taking the entire width. So, I think the reason is same that its pixels are not big enough to, you know, let's see that how many pixels are there. So this is like 162 by 114 image, right? So this is the reason that it is not getting the entire space. So we need to pick better, better image, right? So for example, we come over here, Go back. Free. Let me see this one. Yes, let me try this. Oh. This is awful. Okay. Let me get you an image from my, you know, some source and put it there. Hmm. Oh, oh, this is easy. This is actually easy. So, for example, I come over here. Copy image. And come over here. Red and paste over here. So, yeah, and JPG, right? So I can come over here. Let me copy this name. Copy the name. So, since it is sitting in the same folder, we need to just give its name dot JPG. Right, save it, come back to your page, reload it. 
Oh, this is still not getting. Okay, 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 okay. One more thing is wrong, I think. That this particular Debian by itself, this particular Debian by itself, let me see. Huh? What could be the reason, anybody? Sir, in class name, uh, I think it should be item main image or div, and you have yeah. given only dot main image div. No, this is main image div, right? Uh, main image div. Item is another class, right? So there are two classes. Oh, okay. Right? There is a gap. Okay, so there are two classes. Okay, let's check that what is the reason. So sometimes, you know, you are just overlooking something and uh, this debugger is with us for this purpose. So let's see what is the issue. So this image is taken. Now this is like uh, pics, okay. And now this Debian is taking, this is taking the entire space, good. And why is this not getting it? Any, any opinion? This is kind of very strange error coming. If I remove it, save it, and let me see it going wild. Okay. It's not going wild either. I want it to take the entire width of the division. And this is the reason that I'm saying that hey, your width is 100%. Hmm. Yes. Any idea? Sankit? I think check once item class, sir. Say it again. Item class. Item class. Oh, item class is being applied. So is there? Is it intervening? No, I don't think so. So it is intervening. So item background white display is great. This is the reason. Its display by itself is great, right? So item is making its display great. So it, that's the reason that it is taking one fourth of the left hand corner space, right? So we need to come over here and we say that, hey, you are not an item, right? Because you are not going to get a display. Very good, display great. Yes, this is the reason. So, but I have to tell whatever, you know, over there to this item actually. So what is in the item? item says that your display is great and template and background is white so only background white i have to give right so i come over here this is the reason this is the reason look so we come over here we say your background is white okay save it and reload it now it should work right so look, error was somewhere else, and we were looking at somewhere else. Have you got the idea? Right, so we have this. We have, okay, let me do one more thing. Let me have this list, you know, covering two, two rows, right? Oh, you know, this is good enough, right? Let me put a list over here. So we come over here. And we need to tame it a little bit because it is like not respecting the boundaries, right? So we come over here, we come over here. We say that new image, uh, image to be an item. So no, 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 this one, main image to be in, where is the main image to be in, right? Main image to be in, you take a padding of 10 pixel. Right, save it, reload it, right? So now it is better. 
right guys now we want to put a list over here right now we want to put a list over here so we come over here we come over here where is the list so this is item 1 and this is a list right so let me put uh, heading over here is to list of topics right and we make a unordered list list item html5 list item what are you going to study css CSS three HTML. HTML. Oh, thank you very much. Though it will not make a big difference, but thank you very much. Good. List item, and this is JavaScript, ECMAScript, twenty twenty. List item. What else do you want to study? Do you want to know Node? Node JS, right? List item. we want to study what else do you want to study express right this item what do you want to study mongodb angular js mongodb no 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 angular in this course my dear <laughs> is too much for this course right so mongodb uh, but one thing i can teach you that is ajax ajax callback no sir it's very good uh, uh, yeah so one thing one thing whatever i can teach you i can promise that right so one thing i can teach you i can teach you ajax here right so let me just copy them i can teach you mongos mongos i can teach you ejs in this right uh they are interesting contents by the way okay copy this thing maybe this a paste save it right and we come back here reload it right so we have got this list over here so let me populate this list better okay let me come over here say for example i come over here i say This was item image driven. Okay, it has gone. Okay, list driven. So I come over here. I say dot list driven list item. Your font size font size is two v w. Save it. Okay. Reload it. So still, you know. Oh, why is this? You know, not in well with it, right? So let's see. Some maybe some bracket is missing. Got deleted. Maybe. Mm, where is something wrong? Why is this is not taking the tab? Let's go back. Oh, this is ECMAScript 2020. Why is this coming in the next line? Why not sitting in the same line? Huh? Why is it sitting in the next line? Save it and let's check this thing. That why is this sitting in the next line? Right? Can you can you see this thing? Why I'm worried? That it should come sit here, right? While it is sitting in the next line. Let's see. Inspect element. So basically, your uh, inspect element is the best friend for this. So let me point to this element. Okay, this is the reason. Look, 
grid length why? Right? This grid it's width. width why is it not taking the entire width why is it not taking the entire width oh because once again yeah oh. we have decorated it with list item right so uh, item right so item is like making a grid of it also so we want to remove it from that also so we come back here and right over here we remove item right and we put that background over here we say background white save it reload it right so you can see that now it is sitting in the right place right let me have more Uh, maybe copy this thing. Save it and reload it, right? And now you can see that it is broken. Can you see this thing? this card has gone wild why because this list has grown improportionately big are you getting me so how to get rid of this thing any idea yes guys Yes, I would love to hear a solution to this problem. Anybody who is not quite getting the problem? Everybody is with me that there is a problem, right? You can see this thing that, you know, there's a big gap here and then this card has gone wild, right? So how to deal with it? Hey man, tell me, anybody? No? Okay, let me tell you. Look very simple solution to this problem so let me first fold it let me make a division over here let me decorate it with a, with a class of list division uh, list division is on the top so we say list container Right, list container, and let me put this list right over here. Right, so now this is a deviant, this is within a deviant. So I come over here and list container. Oh, you know. Let's, let's don't do it. Let's make it even simpler. So I come over here, I say that unordered list, which is sitting in list VN. So your overflow y is auto right your overflow y is auto okay save it and let's reload it right reload it ah, okay it's not uh, so once we want to overload you know this thing so, uh, so overflow, we need to fix this height, right? So we say that, hey, your height, otherwise, you know, it will take the entire height, right? Your height is uh, maybe 20 VW. Okay, reload it. And 
now you will see that right and it's just scrolling here so if we want we can increase the size of the height maybe to 40 vw save it reload it right so maybe a little bit more 45 vw save it reload it and I'm, by the way, in a mood to teach you bootstrap also this time. Right? Okay. So, so now this page is quite ready. Okay, can you see this thing? We can do one more thing. We can come over here and we say, hey, you container, your width is by itself uh, sixty percent of the width of your container, and your margin is auto. Save it. Reload it. Right. So this is now sitting in the middle of the screen. Okay, and okay, this thing is like taking more, uh, you know, space now because we have changed the width of the entire thing so we can reduce it a little bit so instead of uh, 45 vw we can say that we sit in 35 vw save it reload it more reduction is required so Right, so it is better, but a little bit more. So maybe 25 VW. Save it. Reload it, right? And we are getting the right thing. Any questions so far? Any question, guys? Any question? Let, let me ask explicitly. Uh, so, uh, Sanket, any question? You, just you have one to thing. Yes. Yeah, just one thing. Uh, this, uh, it, we can't uh, increase image uh, beyond this size, no? Height? Uh, the deal here is that normally what happens is that once we are dealing with images, I would recommend that deal with the width or height at one time. Because if you'll deal with both of them, then you are going to you know, disturb its aspect ratio and the, your, your image would be distorted, which is not good. Okay, sir. Okay, any other question? Uh, yes, Sanket, any other question? And so they're having a default padding, all the grids, they are having little spaces there, they are having No, padding. no, no, we, we, we had a grid gap, right? We use the property grid gap over there. Okay. Okay, right? we use the property grid gap. Yeah, only that much. Okay, right, no problem. Manthan, any question? No. Okay, Pridvi, any question? No, sir. Uh, Shlender, any question? No, sir. Sanjana, any question? Sanjana, no question? No, sir. Okay. Uh, Ankit, any question? Um. Yes, sir. Yeah, what so, is your question? When we were giving uh, row start, uh, some frames we gave, right? One, when one FR, um, like we divide the columns in three spaces, one FR, one FR, one FR. Can right. we also divide using the percentage, 25%? Yes, yes, we can do it by using percentages also. Of okay. course, right, yes. Yeah. Uh, Kamalesh, any question? No, sir. Uh, Sap, hey Sap, what is your name? You have to unmute yourself. So my name is Danush. Ah, oh, Danush, okay, okay. No, any no, question? No. Okay. And Naresh, any question? Sure. 
and shouldn't that I have already asked and Bharat any question no sir, no sir. okay great okay guys so so deal here is that I have taught you grid you know basically that what are the things in the grid but I cannot teach you everything in the grid uh, because there are so many options but there is a website over here which we can uh, you know practice a little bit and that actually provides all the possible you know or you can say majority of the possible options in the grid so let me take you to, to that website and let's do some further practice on the grid but before that i would like to upload this code on the on github and let's see you know you get it or not so we come over here CD to your uh, folder and we come over here we say get status right so it is showing that grid is a new folder which is untracked so we say get add dot right okay. then say get status right so these are like uh, and it is all saved right these are already staged and we say get commit minus m for messages working on grid so right and we say get status right nothing to commit working tree is clean uh, on branch master great so we say get push right because i have already made that tracking branch on github so it is pushed it is gone from me right now somebody would like to share their screen uh, with me just to see that how to get this code bad, you know back to you yes sir I'll, I'll share my screen okay let me stop here and let me give you permission to share please go on great okay and now uh, show us your folder in uh, in editor first of all yes sir atom whatever editor you are using okay show us the folder okay and here you can see that there is no grid right there is no grid folder so come back to your command prompt. Play screen. Good. And here write get status. On Brian Sankit, right? So he is currently on Brian Sankit. Nothing commit, right? So basically working tree is clean. Very good. So the idea was that my code would be coming to go into the master branch, right? So we come over here, we say get checkout master. Switch to branch master, your branch is up to date, right? Though it is not up to date because it does not know. So actually the deal is that this origin slash master is your copy of Mm -hmm. you know, right the online process. so it is comparing with that right so yes, now sir. we we need to get that uh, from the uh, from github the update right so we come over here we say uh, what is the command get merge get what is that merge master. No, 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 no 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 we have to get it first right then we will yes. merge it so just let me think that was it get fetch or get what pull. was huh get get pull 
No, 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 just a minute. Let me just have a look at it and before, you know, we do anything about it. Uh, while open. Uh, okay. So get the uh, remote add. No, 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 my dear, get remote add you have already done, right? Once it is done, you need not to do it again, okay? So okay, that so. you have already done, right? I think that it is I so. okay. you know, sometimes command line we have to check carefully. Otherwise, because what happens is that once it is uh, messed up, <laughs> then, you know, it takes quite a, uh, quite a bit of time to fix it, right? So let me see that. Yes, so just a minute, it will not take too long. Yes, so just, just say git fetch origin, git fetch origin, right? Origin means that whatever the remote repository, right? Git fetch origin. Right, so once it has got something from the origin, right, now check git status. Right, on branch master, your branch is behind origin slash master, right? Now, whatever I uploaded on the repository, GitHub repository, you by using git fetch origin, you have received that thing in origin slash master. Right, your branch origin slash master. Now it is saying that it is not up to date. Now, in order to make it up to date, we will say git merge origin slash master. Right, so you are sitting in the master branch and you want you are saying that hey, you better merge origin slash master branch, which, which has come from the remote repository to my current branch, which is master. Right, so git merge origin slash master. Right, enter. Right, so basically it is done. Is it done? Fast forward, yes, it is done. So check its status. Right, on Prime Master, your branch is up to date with get origin slash master, nothing to commit, working tree is clean, very good. Go back to your editor. And you can yes. see that this grid is there, right? This grid is there. And uh, once you open this page, it will display the grid. Open it in browser just to, you know, show it that you have got it. Yes, sir. So this is, you know, wonderful way to share code, you know, between teams and within the team. Oh, okay. I didn't. Okay. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. you can open it as a file. You're opening it as a file. So, it is opening. Yes, and you can <laughs> right. see that you have got this web page, right? And you can beautify it by changing the headings, right? And doing various things. But my basic purpose was to teach you guys grid over here, right? And which I think that I have done so. But definitely, there's so much to it. I will uh, deliver one more lecture on grid maybe tomorrow. And then we'll finish it up, okay? Uh, okay, let's uh, stop. Uh, so unshare please and let me share my screen. So guys, please yes, uh, get the code like this. Anybody else wants to do practice right now to get the code? One more person can do it if you want. Nobody wants to do it? Okay, great. So let me share then and... Uh, Yes, sir. yes. Do you want to do it? No. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Let me let me take you the website which I was talking about. And the name of the site is Grid Card.
Okay. So the deal here is that they have already styled the outer garden, the container, right? So they have styled the container. So they have styled garden and look, it displays grid. They have said that grid template column, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. So they have made equal uh, columns of size, 20%, five equal columns of size, 20% each, right? And kit, right? So this was you asking that we can give it in percentages also. Yes, sir. So this is what they have given. And then they are saying that their grid template rows is again 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. So they have five columns and five rows. Got it? And they want us to, okay, actually, you know, it has started showing me the solution which I have already done. So let me open it in a private window so that it does not show us the solution, right? So this is the situation, right? And now the deal here is that we want to put this water on these carrots. We want to put this water on these carrots. Are you getting me guys? So how can we put this water on the carrots? We can say, Grid column, right? We, we can say grid column. So from where we want to start it, so column one, column two. So always remember when we are counting columns like this for grid column or for, for that matter grid row, we count the boundaries. So this is one, this is two, this is three, right? So we have to start from three, right? So grid column three. So once we say grid column three, so it will go and sit from three and by default, it is going to take one column space. Or we can do this thing like this also. Uh, for example, we can say grid column start, right? So it, it is the same. We can do this thing also like this, grid column three slash four, that we want it to start from three and go up to four, all are good, all are good, right? Enter. Okay, now this is, this is a pesticide, which we want to pour on this weed. Okay, so what should we do? Please suggest. Great column five. Column five. Great. Column, so this is, look, this is one, two, three, four, five. Very good. So grid column five, right? We can say grid column five, or we can say grid column negative two, right? Grid column negative two. So if you count, uh, count from the right hand side, so this is negative one, this is negative two. So starting from negative two up to this. So both are good, right? So we could have said grid column five or grid column negative two, both are good. Got it? Hello, everybody. Sanjana, are you getting it? Murali Dhar ready, are you getting it? Yes, Murali Dhar was out for time. Okay, now we want to start from here and over here. So we can say grid column start one, and grid column and where? Three. One, two, look my dear, if we say three, it will go up to here, right? We say four. So always remember, when we are counting over here for grid column start, grid column end, so this line, this boundary is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Are you getting me? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, great. So this is it. So next, you know, we want to put this water on these carrots. So start is five, right? So they have already started from five. So one, two, three, four, five. So it is starting five, ending six. 
we want to say that hey grid column and minus where do you five. want to it huh two minus five or minus five both are good okay very good okay once again so they are practicing grid column start grid column end right so grid column end where five five column and five or minus two is also good right both are good okay now we want to put this poison uh on the weed right and they are saying okay, and try setting grid column start to a negative value this we have done you know also previously so grid column start what negative two. two negative two or negative three negative three right so this is negative one, this is negative two, this is negative three. So negative three starting negative three, right? Got it? Hello everybody. You're good guys. Hello. Yes sir. Okay, good. So now again, we have already started from two and we want to go up to four, right? So grid column end. Rather, if they want to practice a span, so we can also say something like this: grid column end, and this thing is going to take a span of two, right? To take two columns, right? So we can use something like this also, or otherwise we could have said, you know, further two plus two, right? And this is something again, they are saying end span. So how many spans are there? One, two, three, four, five. So we can say grid column and grid column and where? Span five. Or we can say this thing also, grid column and negative one. Both are good, right? So span practice, just wanted to practice span. So for example, here now we want to have a start. So grid column start with span. So grid column start so one two three we can say three or we can say spans of three uh, span of three right so both are good there are some properties we seldom use but we need to know them because once somebody gives us a code and we have to see that what's happening there we need to say this thing aha this is that thing okay have you got it why people are like turning off their cameras? Uh, have they gone to lunch? Okay, just kidding. Okay, and now the deal here is that uh, they, are, they are practicing grid column, which we have done already. So we can say grid column starting from one, two, three, four, and going to six, right? So we can say this thing, starting from four, going to six. Uh, this is again, so this is uh, again grid column. So they are saying that you span, so we can say starting from where? Starting from two and slash, no splash, span. How many? Three? Slash is there. Right? Something like this. 
span are three, right? So one span, two span, three span. Spans are three, right? Have you got it? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Very good. So now this is the same thing for grid row start, right? Like grid column start, we have grid, grid row start, right? So we could have set this thing also. Grid row. Which row? One, two, three, right? So three. We can have grid row three slash four also, which is good. We could have also set grid row start three which is good also, right? So there could be so many ways to give the same thing. Uh, sir, can we also write like grid row? Oh, it has gone. Say it again. Uh, can we also write like grid row in square brackets, row one start, then three? So grid row, you say grid row, colon? In square brackets, uh -huh. row one start. Row one like this yeah no no I look find, once find. they look 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 once they tell you that in square brackets you give row one start means that here you tell the start of row one which is which is this one like when we are writing this this thing too this so whatever you are reading over there this is this they are saying two or three whatever it is Okay, so grid one start means that put that number which is the starting point. Okay, okay so you start from three, ending four, right? Or you can just say three. So if you say three, so it is going to take one span only, right? Or yes. one box only. Got it? Yes. Sir. Any question, guys? Uh, what is the issue? So they probably want us to use grid row start. So grid row start from where three. Okay. Okay, and then uh, the same thing, right? So this is again grid row. Grid row. So it is starting from where one, two, three. And going up to six, is it? Right, going up to six. So this is going up to six and that's it. So carrots are growing. And similarly, we can come over here. We can say, uh, this is display grid. We want to put this poison on this. Uh, so please just me, what should I say? Please, grid. Anybody? Grid row five, grid column. Grid row, grid row five, very good. So it has gone down. And then please, grid. Column two. Grid column two. Two, very good. This is exactly what we want to eradicate these weeds. Okay, now we want to have what are these carrots like a bigger field. So what would she, what should we say? Grid column. We can give anyone before grid column two slash six. Right, guys. Grid row. What? One slash, one slash six. six, right? So grid column one slash, uh, two slash six and grid row one slash six. And it is going to water all the carrots. Make sense? And then this is grid area. You know, instead of giving them separately grid row and grid column, you can simply say grid area, right? So first you'll mention top left corner. So two slash, how much? Two slash one. So what is what are they saying? 
So they are saying grid area row start, row start, column start. So first row, you know. So one, one slash, slash two. two, right, and then end. So end is again row one, two, three, four, fourth row, and sixth column, right? So row column, row column, right? Starting top left and then bottom right. And you can water it. Okay, now we want to water this entire area starting from here, ending here. So we can say grid area. Yes, tell me. So starting row, please. One. Starting row is two because we want to start from here, right? Not, this is already being watered, right? So need not to worry about it, right? We need to worry about this area. So we start from two, which column? Three. Uh, three, one, two, two slash three, right? So basically second row, third column, start from there and end. Four, six. Fifth row and sixth six. column. Right guys? Hello everybody? Question? Right. Okay, good. Okay, very good. So our carrots are growing. Now here, we want to, so water is there, right? And uh, we want to put this poison to the weed. So here we have a property which is order. So order by default is zero. So if we want to give a bigger order, it is go and sit later on, right? So for example, for the poison, we can say, that, hey, your order is one, okay? Can you see? If I say your order is one, right? So it will go and sit after that. So basically, you know, one is the like normal order of the things, but if we uh, give assign a bigger order to some, some of the elements, right, or items, it will go and sit after the lower order elements. Any question? Okay, so basically this was something about order. And then we have what? Yes, what should we do? Poison? Yes. Yes, please. Ankit, you tell us. Uh, order one. Okay, let's do it. Order one. Is it good? No, it's opposite. So what should we do? Right, order can have negative value also, right? So order negative one, right? So it will become before zero. Okay, got it? Okay, great. So once we are done with the order, right? So basically what was happening that previous to this thing, we were decorating or we were doing CSS to the items. Container was already decorated for us. Now here in this exercise from 20 on, they have already decorated the element, say water, and they want us to, to design this garden so that water should come and fit on the entire carrots. What should we write? Yes, please. Great. 50%. Very good. Template. Column. 
fifty percent, fifty percent, right? Semicolon. What is wrong? Great template column, fifty percent, fifty percent. So what are they saying? Are they saying fifty percent? Yes, fifty. percent they are saying 50% you will uh, want to set the width of the first column to be 50% right what's wrong so i guess 100 150 100% again 100% 100% and 50% no 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 why would you say so 100% 100% and 50% so let's try it what is wrong here Oh, okay, so let's see. Now oh, this is good. So we let's let's try a template column. Maybe one fr space one fr. Why is not moving? This is good, right? We have seen this thing practically. This is good. Let's read this thing. Maybe there's something in particular they want us to do, which we are not doing. so they are saying this was done with the rules okay great template columns sorry with an s this is the reason right so great template columns css is very sensitive guys right so great template columns so we can say one fr when fr we can say 50% 50% both are good right we can even say auto auto right this is also good right so we can say in so many different ways same thing so they they don't want us auto auto they want 50% so we do 50% we learn auto is a little bit different i will teach you so what are they saying they are saying that uh, so eight column so they are saying using grid template columns with the repeat function create eight columns with 12% width so we can say grid template columns repeat 8 comma 12.5% right so we have made eight columns with every column of width 12.5% each any questions so far guys So far so good. Hello everybody. Okay, great. Okay, so this is good. So here, what are they saying now? They are saying that uh, again used grid template columns, and we want first one. So what are they want? Uh, what are they trying to say? They are saying their first column to be hundred pixel. then the second column should be 3m and then the third one is 40% right so we will say grid template columns 100 pixels so you can give in pixels also 100 pixel space 3m space How much? Forty percent. Right. So we have done so, and this is exactly they want. Okay. So now they are saying that use fr. Right. So look, the deal over here is that we have one part in which we want to put poison, and how many parts? One, two, three, four parts we want to put. water right so we say grid template 
columns, right? We can say that one FR space, how many FR? Four FR. Right? But this is not what they want. They want one fifth, no, no. We take a one sixth of your first row. So one sixth, right? So one FR and five FR. Are you getting me? That one part is, you know, the first part is one part and the second part is five parts. So total are six parts. So first part is going to take one sixth of the space and the second part is going to take five sixths of the space. Who is not quite getting it? Don't feel shy. Ankit, you have got it? Yes, sir. Good. Bharat, have you got it? Yes, sir. Sanjana, have you got it? Sanjana is, has gone. Sanjana, have you got it? No? I've got it, sir. Okay, great, great. So anybody else, any question? So one FR, five FR. So once again, they are saying one sixth, you know, is the poison. So basically one six and then remaining is five six, right? So it means that one FR and five FR. So one by six and five by six. So one FR and five FR. Okay, got it? Okay. I don't want to make it a math question though. Okay, they are saying here that uh, uh, here, you know, the carrots are first 50 pixels and then weed is the 50 pixel column on the right. So look, so deal here is that we have to have three columns. So we say grid template columns. So first column is 50%, uh, sorry, 50 pixel. And then there would be middle column, right? And the last column would be 50 pixel, right? So question here is that what would come in the middle? So we want to say this thing that, hey, you first column, you take 50 pixel, you last column, you take 50 pixel, and you central column, you take rest of the space, right? You take rest of the space. So for that, we can say auto wave. What has gone wrong? So we say first column. So let's read it once more. Here we carry for third 50 pixel column on the left, 50 column on the right with this, create three, uh, these two columns and use FR to make three more, okay, we'll make three more columns that take up the remaining space. Okay, we did not read it. So three more columns to take up the remaining space. So we come over here, we say, repeat. Three comma, one FR, bracket close, right, got it? So basically this is what they wanted, so. Now once again they have, there is 75 pixel column of the weed on the left side, right? And then three fifths of the remaining space is growing carrots right, three fifths of the remaining space is going carrots and two fifths has been overridden with weeds, right? So what should we do? Please help me, create template columns, yes. Say it again. 75 pixel. 75 pixel, very good, then Then two FR and three FR. Three, uh, two, three FR and uh, two FR. 
Oh, 3 FR and 2 FR, yes. Yeah. So 3 FR and 2 FR, right? So 75 pixel and then 3 FR and then 2 FR. Very good. Okay, we are nearly done. So here they are saying that we have to, uh, you know, make the row like this, right? So how, how do they want it? So the water, but all but the top 50 pixel of your garden, right? So what should we say? Please write and, you know, read it carefully also. What should we mention over here? Grid, template, rows. Now guide me, please. Yes. Yes, yes. So worst come, what will happen? You will tell me some wrong thing and we'll correct it later on. This is not civil engineering. This is software engineering, right? In civil engineering, if you, if you make a wrong place, then you know it would be headline in the national news. But in software, if you'll make a wrong, you know, code line, it will not harm that much. Yes, what should we write? Repeat. Very good. What repeat? Uh, Say it again. Repeat. Um, Repeat. Minus one. Ten pixel. Five times. And the remaining space is one row. So auto. Uh, what is wrong? No? What is wrong here? So, fifth. So one, two, three. So one, uh, one space would be one, one to two, and then one to two, then it would be two to three, three to four, four to five, right? So we need to have five spaces. And then five spaces, that's four spaces, one to two, one to two, then two to three, three to four, four to five. So four spaces of 12.5 pixels. And, and the, oh, FR is missing, right? One FR. No, what is the issue? What is the issue? Is the four supposed to be before the... Yeah, this is exactly, we did not see it, right? So this is the reason. Very good. Okay, great. So now what are they saying? That instead of grid using grid template row and grid template column, use grid template. So we say grid template, right? So grid template, and then uh, they are telling that, you know, we need to give template rows first and then columns, right? Rows first and columns. Yes, first rows and then columns, right? So for example, they want to have 
200 pixel of 250 percent and 200 pixel of your column right so we can say 50 percent 50 percent slash 200 pixel space 1 fr right so why 50 percent is causing problem did they say 50 percent no they say 60 percent so this is 60 percent and 40 percent right 60 percent 40 percent and then 200 pixel and remaining is one fr and this is done so guys this is the last one you try it yourself and let me know tomorrow okay so please do the entire exercise yourself and let me know this is your homework Right. Once you're done with it, just shoot me an email or, you know, I can ask you tomorrow in the class that have you done it. Okay. So any questions so far? No, sir. Okay. If there is no question, I'll stop here and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take good care of yourself until then. If you want to have me for office hours, you can stay in this communication. Otherwise you can simply drop out. Thank you very much. You have a good rest of the day. Goodbye. Thank you, sir.